Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of oh, Mitch Mo's well, uh, the, Mummy Man. The Mummy Man. Got a Riley boy here today. He's off school. Got inset day today, yeah. haven't you? Not off school today. It's good. The sun is out and, and it's nice and warm outside. Had a bit of a uh, a, a tidy up in the old mail store. I should show that a bit later on. Yes, buddy. I order an airplane 40. An airplane 40? What's that? An airplane? What, what, an Amazon? Yeah. Are you been on Mummy's Amazon again, have you? Uh, yeah. Oh, fair enough. Then. What do you do, shall we? Yeah, we'll do that later on. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at this um, lawnmower. It's a Kaz with okay. a uh, Kaz with okay. a Honda GXV 160 on top. I've been watching this up for sale um, in my local area of late. It was a, it was a little bit pricey for what it was originally, but the bloke dropped it down. And when I went to pick it up, I actually had bought the mowers off of him um, in the past. Um, he bought it as part of a job lot. <clears throat> he does a little bit the same as me and garden work as well. Um, but uh, it was in bits, all the carburetor was hanging off and all that sort of stuff. And I think that's what put people off. And he's, he's given me um, a plethora of, of carburetors with it. He's bought, he's, he's, no, 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 open it, mate, already open. Daddy, he's given me a, a, um, some carburetors which he's bought. These are, these are Chinese copies, but he just said he can't get any of them to fit right. So uh, he's given me those as well on top of, uh, of the deal. And um, he said it does fire, and I have confirmed that with just a bit of carburetor spray down the head, and the machine does fire. However, he just cannot get the carburetor to fit on there or anything like that. Um, and it's in, in, in a few bits and bobs. So uh, we need to try and get up on the bench, figure out what's going on with it, see if we can't get, get the machine complete at first. I may have to cut the video short and um, order some bits up. I don't, know, I don't know if it's all here, I don't know, but I've taken a bit of a risk. As I say, it has got a GXV160 engine on top, a very, very hardy engine. And this has got the rotor clutch and the, the pro drive roller on the back as well. So it's got all the bits you need for, you know, for a decent machine. And for what I paid for it, there's plenty of meat on the bone if I can get the machine to run and cut as it should do. But at the moment, it ain't doing that. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mouse and Merman, hit the old subscribe button or whack the old bell. Yay. That way you'll be told next time we'll have another video. So without further ado, let's get down dirty. Ready? Let's get this Honda mower up on the bench and try and get it to run. Right, so as you can see, had a bit of a sort out in the old, in the old shack. Um, quite happy with how it's turned out, and I like the way it's now looking. So I've got a bit of a divide going on here now, so I have to walk down the side here to get down the other end of the shed, which is cool. But I have now put up some signage and what have you, and uh, just had a bit more of a clear out. So this way, I've got a bit more room uh, to work in, and it's, it's just a bit tidy for what it, what it should be. So yeah, super, super happy with that. So let's get this um, Kaz, here it is here, look. Um, let's get this Kaz up onto the old bench and then uh, and then we'll go from there shall we so here's the mower now um it's got a bit of paint flaking on there um but it's had probably had a petrol leak at some point but uh what i may do if i can get it all to run i may take the engine off and then um spray the deck up fully uh and go from there or just try and spray it up just gently one or the other i should have a bit of tie up but this this is what we've got here this, this is the carburetor that's on it and I believe that to be the wrong the wrong carb altogether. Now he has given me uh, the man, the man I got it off, he's given me a plethora okay. of carbies that he had that either he's bought for it or 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 whatever. So I've got I've got an abundance of carbies, which he's had a right go at it to try and make something work. Okay. Now uh, I believe this one, I think it's this one, is actually the original carb. It looks like an original carb, and he said to me he could not get that bowl nut off. So we may go with that one, okay, if I can get that bowl nut to come off. Um, he gave me these two, and these are off of a Quantum uh, manual choker. So they're, so they're no good. They're, 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 they're completely the wrong. I don't know why that nut's doing it. I must have fallen there. Um, they're completely the wrong carby, so they, they have absolutely no business here at all. There's a washer for it. Got a few gaskets and what have you. So this would be the one I believe that he says uh, is the original, but the, the, the actual but, um, nut itself is absolutely kaput. It's knackered. 
Now, I've had a, just a little look at this, just in close up, and I think he was nearly there. Um, ideally, you want one with a tap on it. And I believe that this one would be the closest, okay? Because of, because of the way the linkage is set up, it's spring-loaded linkage on, on, the, on the choke there. Um, I believe that, that would be the closest, okay? However, it's got the wrong, and that's got the right top, but this is actually the one I would have thought would go on there. But that's got the wrong, uh, the wrong throttle on it. So what I, my intention was initially was to take the butterfly out of this one, remove the post, and put it on that one. And that way, that would give me um, the right, the right sort of, the right sort of carb. That was that's my, that's my general consensus first. But what I want to do, just to cure or secure the cat, I'm going to try and save this carburetor if I can because this is the original, this, this is a proper Honda carb, genuine. Um, and you can tell that because it hasn't got the, the silly little uh, float, I don't know why they do it on my, on my copies, but on the, on the back, uh, there's a fuel line going level, and that one goes up in the air, so that, that, I'd have to move that anyway, that, that, that's not quite right. So let's put this in a vise, um, squeeze that down, and see if I can't get that to, that to undo. If I can, I can then possibly just take the bowl off of this one, because they're about the same, aren't they? Yeah, give or take. Just use a bowl nut off of that one to put onto that one, so. Into a vise, and we'll give that one a go. Right, so originally, when I, when I first picked this mower up, I didn't actually know I had this carburetor here because um, it was actually in the grass box. So my intention is to do that up right on the nut. Just hold that nut still. And try. Yeah, there you go. Now he said he couldn't undo it. He said no matter what I tried, couldn't undo it. Get a vice. Bish bash bosh. How easy was that? Two minute job. So that's the original carby. So now, if we come round. Right, so now back on the bench, or on, on the mower, um, this is the original carb. To be fair, it don't look shockingly bad, although I'm missing part of the fuel tap as well. Didn't, didn't notice that till just now. So I don't know where that is, but I could possibly, possibly whip that one off of there and put that onto there. That could be a thing. So we are missing a few bits. Mm, that's a shame, isn't it? That is a shame. Because that one's built in, I think. Yeah, it's built in. That one does come apart. But I'm not seeing anywhere to screw that in. It's not, it's not a screw thread on there. Unless, of course, because that is actually dead in there. And it's actually the top bit that actually works as the tap. Yeah, I think it is. I think that's actually a, just a, a void. Okay. So let's have a bit of a play. I'm going to take off one of the other one of the other carby bowl nuts off of this one. Uh, no, I'll leave that one. Oh, yeah, that's one I want to I want to muck about. Maybe if this don't work, yeah. I'm going to undo that one. Cut that up. Cool. My word. Let me get an impact on that. Let's get an impact. And I want an extension bar, and I want a 10 mil socket. Those are three things I need in my life. So 10 mil socket, impact, and a bar. And all I want to do is just undo this one very, 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 very gently. Okay. It's just checking for other bits and pieces in here, but it's not. So I'm gonna remove that, remove that bowl nut, that one. That's it. And then I'm gonna put that back on. I need two actually, okay. And I'm gonna try and screw that into there. That holds, we like that, okay. And I want another one, because I'm, miss I'm missing the drain plug, which would be that one there. Oop. And I'm gonna put that one into there. Look at that, that fits. Ish. I don't wanna go all the way in there. I might still have to work with that. Where's my 10 mil? The old threads might be a bit worn. Just want to double check that's not going to impinge on the float. I don't think it will. No, I don't think it will. I think we're 
just do that up. I think the threads might be a bit a bit dirty. Yeah, there go. All day long. All right, that's down. Okay. We put that on. I might have to change the bowl yet. We'll see. I don't want to muck about too much of it. As long as it don't leak no fuel, we're on a winner. Right. Let me do it, and Mick. Bite down. Yeah, do. Okay, right. So let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these other carbies for now. I was just going to get confused. But I've got a few spare carbies there now. So that's good. Right. Um, pair of long nose snippers, pliers, and we're going to remove the governor arm off of this one. Take the, uh, is there a fuel, there's a fuel tap there, so I have to stop that fuel from coming out. And I've got pigeons fighting in the tree, I don't think you can hear them. Every year they have a bust up them too. You think they fall out of each other. All right, let's pinch that fuel off so that don't leak no more. And we'll get a pair of pliers. I want to move this, move this carb off of here, you see. Um, this is not quite the right carby for this. This is a problem when you buy, um, Carbs off of like eBay and Amazon. It may say GXV one one sixty on there, but actually it could be for like a for like a uh, a pressure washer or something like that. So they are, they are a bit different. All right, let's take that off. I might have to just have to remove um, that idle screw just slightly as well. It's a little bit too wound in too much for me to get the um the governor arm out. Right. As I said, it was a bit of a Tight in there. It was a bit of a risk buying this machine because one, I don't actually know if the machine runs fully, but he did say it did it did did fire up and what have you. So right, let's get rid of that carby for now. Put him in there. So this is actually the genuine carby. This is the kitty. So I might have to have a carburetor clean yet. Oh, that all goes on. Right, we like that. Let's put that governor arm in there. Let's put that little spring onto there. That goes on. We're going to put the fuel line on. Like so. What I want to do first off, I want to turn this fuel on to make sure that fuel tap's not, not so just going to weak fuel out. I don't I think there's a void underneath here. Uh, I don't know which is on. We'll find out in a minute. But stop, stop, halfway through the video, we're gonna do a little giveaway. Do you remember I did a review on this Top Don um, jump starter pack, uh, which you can jump start your batteries. Um, did a review on that, and some of you guys went off and bought your own, but I, I did ask um, the company if I could do a giveaway, and they have said yes, um, you can give one away. What I've got to do is pick the name out of the hat, and then uh, I will then pass their, your details on to them. So all the names are in the app. There's all the names, about 50 in there, right? They're in there, there's a partition in there. But Riley Boy is going to either put his hand down here or hand down there, but there is a gap underneath, so you can you can get either one, right? So it's sort of the best I can do. Okay. I, don't think, I don't think it comes out. No, it don't come out, right? Shake, shake. I'll shake it because you'll end up just chugging over the floor. I'll do it. Right, here we go. Hang on, I'll do it. Right. I'll do it. So we're going to shake up. So it's completely unbiased. Now I'm going to open it up like that. Right. Now, all we do, Riley, is just take one. Have a good shake, shake in there. That's it. Got one? Yeah. Right, just got one? Don't do it for. Right, who have we got them? Let's have a look here. Before, Let's have a look. Kim Let's have a look. Well done. Good reading, Riley. And the winner is Kim Dunn. If your name is Kim Dunn and you've emailed me, um, email me up, send me your address, and I will get, um, I'll pass your details on to Top Don, and then that way you can then um, be the receiver of one of these jump pack starter kits. So well done, Riley Boy, thank you for picking out, and good reading too, that's fantastic. So Kim Dunn, you are a winner. Uh, make sure you email me up. If you don't email me, you don't get, simple as that. So let's get on with the video. One or the other. It's that way or it's that way. Don't stay on it. I don't think, I'm not seeing it on or off. You'd like to think that that's on, wouldn't you? You'd like to think. Anyway, we'll, uh, we're, we're seeing a bit. So that goes on to there. Now, only other bit I'm missing is uh, the choke rod, which is where he was having the most problems. And I have got the choke rod for it, which is there. Uh, this is where he was having problems because uh, this one here, that's the car we had on it. Uh, yeah, on is that way, okay, it says on here. 
Um, it fitted onto there, no worries, but when he went to fit it onto, uh, onto here, you can see that that didn't fit in there. It didn't do anything, you know, it just, it's not, not the right one, you see? So what you should have had, it, I think it was nearly there. If it had a bit more, a bit more, um, a bit more of a go, it, 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 was, it was darn near there. Where did that other carby go? I had, I've got carbs coming out of bum. So if he would have, literally, I think, pulled the, uh, the butterfly out of there, pulled that out, bump, removed the post and put that post on, on the other carb, then that would have fit in there like that, you see? So he was nearly there. But why he didn't use, just, just use that one, I don't know. They don't fit. Yeah, that's the wrong carb, that is. So yeah, I would have just, I would have just nicked, that, nicked that post out of there. That's what I would have done. I would have had a go at that. But, however, we found the original carb. We've got the nuts on it now. It's not leaking no fuel. So now what we can do, we can now hook that up to there. And that's got to be bent. So I can then get that um, choke lever in place. Uh, I've got to sort all this lot out here yet. It's, I don't think some of this lot's right. I can't leave it, I don't want to do a lot. Let's push, push, push that out of the way for now. Just so it moves a bit more, that's better. Right, and now it's moving, okay. Let's take it off a choke, that's better. Right, and what I do with this one, I'm just gonna literally, gonna bend this arm round to there, and then we can then get that in place. Get back to sitting. It'd be great if it just fires on up. A bit of lush. That goes onto there, and then I can then bend that back round so that's in a bit more of a normal position. Right. So now, uh, I want to see that flat move. Which it's not doing, it's not, it's not quite choking. Somewhere down here, this is having a moment. Somewhere down here, it's not. When I push that forward, it's trying, but it's not quite, not quite delivering on the spot. And I think if that goes like that, that's gotta go that way. I wonder if that goes into there, Mick. It's just not quite there. It's nearly choking. It's starting to go, see, but it's just not quite there. So what I'm gonna do is, to save arguing with it. All right, buddy boy. Yeah. Good man. What are you up to? Not much. Not much. And the day off, eh? Yeah. What I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and loosen that off. That's choked up the top of the handle. And I'm gonna pull this all the way back. God, that ain't far out, you know. That just wants a bit more. So somewhere behind here, it's not choking. It's not, it's, it's not, it's just not connecting right. Somewhere behind here. There's something just not quite right. I've got to figure that out. The spring's all on. That's a throttle. That's for that's full of throttle release. Yeah, that's a choke one there, see, and that's gotta go all the way forward. That's for choke. You pull that back. That one there. Yes, yeah, that one, and then that one then will push that arm forward. So I've got to figure that out. Let me have a quick little look at that because uh, it's um it's a, it's sort of backwards. So let me figure that out. And I'll be back to you in two ticks. Okay, I think I've sussed it. Um, I've done a bit of cable adjustment up the top end. I didn't want to just uh, fix it, didn't show. I've done a bit of cable adjustment up the top end. But down the bottom end here, what I've done is, um, and bring it right in. Right, see this little tiny arm just here, this one here? This was a this was pointing up in the air a bit, and I think it would be bent over. And as you choke it, this little tiny arm here comes up well, underneath it. That comes up just there. That comes up and activates your choke. So if I simulate that by pulling this lever up, you can see that that is what chokes your machine, you see? Um, 
So this one here, this little tiny arm, as I say, what I've done is I just literally just pushed it over to, to the front of the mower and just give it a little bit of a tweak down as well. That's all I've done. So now if I put you back onto your perch, let's put you back on here and bring you in a smidge. So now, I need to get some oil for my chair. Uh, so now I'm on uh, idle, uh, full throttle is there and then choke is there and it now the machine now fully chokes, okay? So that's good, uh, we, we like that. So uh, choke, off choke, full throttle, idle and stop. So it should do everything I need it to do. I, would, I think that's, that, that is stopping, yeah. Okay, right, so um, what's next to do is uh, I'm gonna put this, this um, gas geat back on and it's gonna go that way around, I'd say. I don't like that, yeah, happy with that. Um, what's more bits, Mick? More bits, Mick, more bits, Mick. Where's my airbox gone? My chair is a creak, it's like, it's like being at sea in my chair at the moment. All right, got the airbox. That's got to go crankcase breather pipe at the back on there. And that all sits up into there. So I didn't pay a great deal for this mower. I paid a little bit. I paid more than what I would normally pay. But I did, I did just see that there was an opportunity um, to, to make a few quid. So if this machine now runs, it may want a carburetor clean yet, but if it runs uh, and the rotor clutch all works and the drive all works with no other issues, I can get this machine cleaned up and get it turned out. Uh, it may want some extra work doing, but this video is purely just to get it to run. That's the idea. Is that gonna bite down, Mick? Yeah, that's good. And the fellow was saying, he watches the videos, he was saying, I'm gonna watch a video, Mick, see if you fix that. Well, we'll have a go, right? We'll always have a go. And this is what I was saying to the fella earlier on. You can't be held accountable if you just have a go at it. At least, at least have a go. I've got another 10 mil here somewhere. Yeah, there. That 10 mil that goes in the back here somewhere. It goes in there, I believe. That just holds the airbox up out of the way. There's me impact, there it is. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna check for oil. I'm gonna check for fuel all that sort of good stuff. Let's double check that choke is actually choking over. Yeah, it says it is. Right, so, um, check for fuel, check for oil, check for all that sort of good stuff, and uh, we'll go from it. As I say, I have had the machine fire, but that's all it has done. And has this lawnmower been purchased by me because the fella literally could not undo a nut, which took me no more than a minute. Right, so here it be. Now, I don't know whether it starts, runs, nothing. Uh, it's got fuel in it. It's, the oil's up to level, the oil is black. The oil is up to the level. There's a bit of fuel in there. So let's try for a fire up, shall we? And see, see what we get. Now, if it starts, lovely. But also we want to get the rotor clutch to work as well. And the power drive as well. And the drive says it does work, but it may need work itself. So we'll see. Right, so... Onto choke, which is there. Let's see what happens. First pull. Drive. Ah, the drive don't work. Oh, there you go. That's no, working. I might want, to, might want a bit of a bit of a fix on the drive. Yeah, the clutch is gone. See it juddering? So the gearbox needs looking at. So no biggie there. Rotor clutch.
bit of idle work as well, it's not idling. So I've got to, just got to tweak the idle up slightly. And the drive, um, it's got that judder. If you want, I will give him a shout out. If you go and watch Mr. Mend it Man, he's done a video on one of his gearboxes. I haven't done one yet. It looks like I'm going to have to do one. So um, I should be watching Mendit Man's video uh, in depth to see how to do this. But it looks like um, it starts, it stops. It doesn't idle as well as it should do. I need to sort that out. That's just a tweak on my car, but I can do that. Um, in fact, I did actually unwind the governor arm to get the other car off. So maybe I need to just tweak up a touch. Um, but for a lawnmower that I actually picked up because it was, it was in bits and the bloke... Um, was certain it would run, which it does. Um, he said, I don't think it needs much, Mick, and I think you could fix that. So, didn't need no choke this time. Look at that. And the drive does work, but it's just a little bit See, if you see here, you see this handle, it's moving. That's the clutch, trying, trying to work in. The clutch is worn. But with a push, it will go. So that's a classic sign of uh, the dog clutch has gone. But I think they're around about 30 quid for this. So it's about two hours work, from what I led to believe. The, the whole roller's got to come out. Gearbox has got to be separated and uh, a new clutch fitted, uh, they're just a small piece. Once that's fitted, the driver's as good as new. These have got, I'm sure this is a pro roller. Yeah, this has got a pro roller gearbox on it. So I'll be coming to you, Mendit Man, for some tips and uh, um, numbers for, um, for these parts of this gearbox. And hopefully I can do my own video on this as well. And um, we get this lawnmower up, running and driving as it should do. But I'm super, super happy from the lawnmower that came in yesterday, not running, uh, to now it runs on the original car that the bloke gave me. Um, it just wants a gearbox sorted out, which so many people would throw away, but this has got the rebuildable pro gearbox on it. You can rebuild these, and we will. Okay. Congratulations, Riley boy. That's another one fixed. Right, so, we're not out of the woods yet. <clears throat> um, um, Starts, stops, doesn't idle. That's just a, that's just a, a carburetor tune, that's, that's, no, that's no drama. Rotor clutch works, no squealing, happy with that. Um, but the gearbox does not uh, drive. And what happens, as you just push the gearbox in, of a drive in, there's a judder and you can feel it. And all it is is that dog clutch is slightly worn. Um, I have watched Medic Man's video and somebody else's video, they did a, a, a one a little while ago. So I have got information there which I can copy them uh, to get the video done, because I've not done one before. But from what I understand, you've got to take, uh, disconnect the drive, roller to come out, split the roller, and a uh, new dog clutch and possible new bearings if it needs it. So it's going to be quite a long window -win video for me to uh, get it all done, but I have to do it in bits just so that I can um, order the bits as I go. So that's good. But I think I can probably get that up and running for around about 50 quid, um, which is great. And the fella told me it does all run, um, but uh, just needs a bit of work. So. I'd like to say, I said, I said I'd give him a shout out if, um, if I got it to run. Who? Uh, his name was, uh, Pete? Uh, Pete? Uh, two seconds, mate. His name is Rob. Uh, so Rob, uh, thank you very much for the mower, buddy boy, and um, that'll do me. And look, if I get the gearbox fixed and what have you, then it'll be up for sale very, very soon. But cheers, cheers, buddy boy, much appreciated. Hey, and I should catch you next time. You've got some more mowers for me to buy off you. If you like the episode of Mixed Mowers and Mower Man, hit the old subscribe button and whack the old bell. That way you'll be told next time we're at another video. We look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, take it easy.